let us quickly now listen to these teachings which will help you. I want you to understand very well the spiritual world. Because when you are not understanding the spiritual world, it's, it's, easy easy for for it's very easy for you to be deceived. These teachings are helping many. These teachings are doing the eye opening, the heart opening for people to understand very well who the, Jesus Christ is. The two thoughts, eh? We shall read the Gospel of John, chapter 10, verse 10. Where you will know who Jesus Christ is. Where you will know who Jesus Christ is. It's a well known scripture and verse. We always quote this scripture many times. We always quote this scripture many times. The thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. Kali mila spedi ere le hodu helita le tlala ho uzo le ho saba le ho fedisha sen na kesi tlejo kehore di be lebo pelo le mohora. We have to learn something. About the kingdom of God written in the Bible. We have to understand who is Jesus. Which work Jesus Christ did. Where is Jesus now? What this Jesus is doing now? This meeting, when we are here, this meeting belongs to him. For us to come together and sit down is because of him. And for me to preach the gospel of Jesus is because of him. And right now, you will be praying and asking, but you will be receiving from him. The one who knows you better than yourself is Jesus Christ. Even when you feel the pains, you don't know what is happening, but he knows, he sees, he sees the truth. This is what is happening. By the spiritual world, according to Jesus himself, he is speaking about the kingdom. Two kingdoms. But the other one now, hey, is falling down. Is the spiritual world. We are speaking about the kingdom of God. Again, the spiritual world. According to Jesus. Is when Jesus is teaching us. Explaining more to us. That there is another kingdom which is the kingdom of darkness. All witch doctors, false prophets, all devil worship, but they fall under the kingdom of darkness. Jesus himself, he says, that is a kingdom. And really, you can see that that is a kingdom. But when you look at the kingdom of darkness, you will see that it works by killing, it kills. It steals. It destroys. It blocks. It kisses. It and many, many other things. 
Another one is arrested. Hi. These teachings are arresting darkness in every So, but look now. When you are a human being, Jesus Christ wants you to be in the kingdom of God. Not here in the darkness. How the people they come to this evil kingdom, they are being stolen, being by deceived by, a chonto, by, a by this kingdom of darkness. You have learned many, you are still going to learn many about the deception about the darkness. But the kingdom of Jesus, Jesus came as a savior there is life in this kingdom of God, life eternal. There is life in Jesus. Life and death and killing is not the same thing. There is life in full in Jesus Christ. Life in blessings in Jesus Christ. Many things, life in success, life in prosperity. In the kingdom of Jesus. So this darkness is here on earth because Lucifer, Lucifer fell from heaven. As a human being, darkness doesn't want you. Darkness wants to kill you, to destroy, to do all evil in your light. But you cannot see darkness when you are alone, not even Jesus. Let us continue. So in the kingdom of God, in the kingdom of Jesus, there are good things. That's why we are here today. But today, I want you to learn again how to defeat this darkness. How to come out from the bondages of darkness. And how the darkness is binding people or blocking people. Because many of you, you are bound, you are staying in the limitation spirits. What are the limitation spirits? Please. Please. As now, Jesus is pulling down the spirits from the space they are not yet finished. When those spirits are very angry also by what is happening here on earth, the light which is shining. They are angry because they are seeing the light shining here on earth. They don't want that. They are seeing that many now are knowing the truth. How can they limit you in your success, in your business, in your riches, in your financial status. When this darkness is limiting you, know that it knows very well that Jesus, he is the only one who is saving your blessings. So, 
So how can you defeat these spirits of limitations? Many are the victims of these spirits. Here I'm telling you about all generations, all nations, all people in the whole world, including the kingdoms of human beings here on earth. I mean the government of all countries in the whole world. There are also being blocked by this darkness not to bring success. The key is not to have Jesus Christ in your life. Number one is to have Jesus Christ in your life. Do not pretend as if you have Jesus. Do not fake as you have Jesus when you don't have him. Here we need the truth because you cannot hide against the spirits when you are alone. This evil spirits will show you their colors. Who are they? So, the spirits of limitations right now in our time, this is what is happening. They start right in your body when you are not serious in the Lord Jesus. They start limiting your health. They limit your health. By putting sicknesses, tools of the darkness, again, is when these spirits of limitations, they are limiting your blessings. Whoever is called a human being has many blessings from God. God didn't create cursed men. He created blessed men. Amen. These spirits, they limit you when they know that, hey, this one is going to receive more blessings. They put a wall by hi, many things. Hi, bona horwe na utame orufu mane hotswela pele apa di chono fal iba mabota huhutibel. As I've said, that the key is to have Jesus. What about the person who is not having Jesus? Jwala kise sinotlo lo kimure na Jesus. Jwala hukai sa langa mutes na mure na Jesus. So when they see that. You have Jesus. Do not think that they will leave you and say, that one is saving Jesus, let us run away. Yo, yo, is when they will be looking at you. They limit your blessings. They can also put the stop sign in your body when you are not in Christ or when you are weak in Jesus Christ. In such a way that wherever you go, nobody is welcoming you. Nobody is giving you something. Also you who have your CVs, you find that even when you are sending the CV, Nothing. All the answers are negative if you are receiving the answers. No mauti utumela masivi wako enda weneza shugene kuunga toli ne mpendule ne yoto anji. When we say life in blessings, know that is many things we cannot count and finish them. Uma siti mpilo e busiswe ni shishoguti i busiswe ni tuenez ning angere wazbala. Again, when these spirits, they've put something in your body. 
In whatever you touch, even when you say you want to build a house, you no will be It will start when the builders will be disappointing you. How many people whom you know who bought the bricks and the door frames and the window frames until those window frames and door frames hey, change the colors? How many? I want the Holy Spirit to teach you quickly, quickly, quickly. Also, limitation in the blessings in the line of finance. When these spirits are operating, in our time now, know that said, the legal witches, the legal witches, they have their bosses. The devil worshippers, they have their bosses. Also, up to the principalities, they have the bosses. The principalities, these are the people who are human beings deceived, deceiving darkness. Their bosses are up at the space, no longer a human being, they are spirits. Right now, that place left Kotana, spirits, these principalities know that they pray also. But we cannot say it's a prayer. I just want to make you to understand. But they say they are reporting, they are praying a lot now this time. Praying a lot, telling the spirits from the space that Hey, help us. People are running away from our kingdom. People are leaving our kingdom. Quickly help us. Remember, I told you that the principalities, they cannot see face to face with those spirits from the space. They cannot sit down well because those are the gods. They call them their bosses. Right now they've added so-called prayers, but we know that is not a prayer. Because they are saying that things are bad in them. When these spirits of limitations are in you, you need Jesus to rescue you, to restore you. You cannot defeat them. Listen. They can also use your children. In order to connect you very well with them, in order to destroy you. In such a way that you will find that your children are so stubborn, they don't want to listen to you. When you are always angry, when you are always crying, when you are always complaining about your children, those are the doors to enter and block you. Listen, more especially our children in our days, they are communicating with the darkness. Using the technology, calling the darkness. Thinking that they are enjoying life. Remember, you are buying the airtime for your child, and your child now in your home is a satellite to the darkness. Buga. Reporting that. Here, you are welcome, darkness. 
umtwana bese kanti ke usebenza ke logo ke uya kumana kanya na wo bese ke kuba inda wo laba kumana kanya na wo bese ba ya kuzufanya laba tisi lapa. Let us teach our children the truth now. As ba fundi se na bantu na betu ikinis. And rebuke them because we are their parents. Siba kali mengo ba singa ba zaliba abo. It's very bad when darkness is being given the chance to enter through your child, whom you have given birth. Again, darkness can use your partner to limit you because they say this great God when he gives according to them, they we say, he is not giving very well. Why? Because they said when he opens and giving a human being, he just keep on blessing, keep on blessing. That's how our God is. Because they say if everybody will know that this God has blessings, they said all the people, they will believe him. So they can limit you in such a way that when you touch this or plan this and planning to do this, you are being blocked, you are being limited, limited, limited. Do you know that there are people who are so intelligent in their minds? Do you know that there are people who are hard workers in their minds? But when you check what they are working for, you cannot see. The spirits of limitations are very bad because through those spirits is where the sicknesses can also come into your body. Ooh. Jesus. Can you say, Jesus, help me? It is Jesus. Help me. It is Jesus. Help me, Jesus. I want you to open your mind to the Holy Spirit. Say, Holy Spirit, teach me, teach me. Make me to see that the limitation spirits are operating. Limiting you not to have marriage. Limiting you not to have the increase in your job. Listen, limiting your joy. Limiting your peace. People, please, please, please. please. I'm praying for you to receive the help of the Holy Spirit. All of you, when Jesus is working, you will see that ah, 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 the spirits of limitation they are using, they can also use where you are working, your bosses, they can use anything. They can also see if you are looking for money and you ask the money here in prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, they see your money which is coming and they said, oh, that is too much. How can that Le man receive so much? That is too much. He's going to take the money to the shining one, to the work of the shining one. And he loves the shining one too much. We don't want. Let us limit him. Let us limit him. Let us limit him. 
go okeletswa ba khona go bona me balla gore wena o okeletswa thata gore go lekane ke ntsi thata o ifumana so how to defeat these spirits the ah. main key i've told you that is to have jesus Again, I'm repeating this. When you are planning good things, stop talking too much. When you know that you are loving Jesus, stop How? telling everybody that, you know, I'm going to buy a car. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to buy a house. How You're calling them to come and block you. How na le sa o ratang go se dira tlogela go bua thata o bolella mongwe le mongwe gore wena o rata go batla gore ka kolo o rata go dira tlogela go bua thata how to defeat darkness galatians chapter 5 a o ka fenya beang le fifi no that at the top is jesus to have jesus but let's see jesus godimo ke morena jesus verse 22 to verse 26 but the fruit of the spirit is love joy peace patience kindness godliness faithfulness gentleness and self control against such things there is no law those who belong to Christ Jesus have crucified their sinful nature with its passions and desires since we live by the spirit let us keep in step with the spirit let us not become conceited, provoking, and envying each other. Chapter 5, Chapter five, five verse 22 to 26. Be led by, by the, the spirit, spirit. Live in the spirit. Otherwise, you will fall. So, when you attend this kind of services of restoring, that's why you hear some people who said, I received Jesus, and now I got a job. Now I have the, the car. Here are the car keys. What happened? Jesus has chased away the spirits which were limiting that person. But it doesn't mean that the war is finished in that person. If he or she is not living in Christ Jesus, darkness is looking at you, at him, at her. Oh, how can he receive things like this? Oh. Ke ka lebaka le bohle ba amogetse morena Jesu re ba bona ba lokollwa ba amogediwa dilo tsotlhe tse ba dikopileng go morena Jesu ba fumana dikolo tsa bona me bereko le ditshelte tsa bona a ba ka khona jwang go ka thibelwa ha morena Jesu a leteng he they can limit you in your studies in whatever o ka thibelwa le dithutong tsa hao but Jesus above all is the winner be in Christ Jesus. You will see him fighting for you. I've told you, I said, the principalities, they've added many so-called prayers. Communicating with the spirits from their space. But when we are in Christ Jesus, trusting Jesus, Jesus is able to fight for us. That's why you will ask the car now and you find that next week you are receiving